What is going on you guys? Tutorial Tim here and today I'm going to show you how to use one of the, the greatest plugins I've used so far in Figma. It's called Google Sheets Sync. It allows you to sync your data between uh, your designs and whatever you have in Google Sheets. So uh, if you haven't installed the plugin, it links in the description or it's one of the most popular popular plugins by David Williams. Williams. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is create a Google Sheet, get a shareable link, and you'll have to use a proper naming convention between your Figma file and the Google Sheet to sync your data. And uh, yeah, I can just show you that along the way. So let's get started. Once you have the plugin installed, um, open your file that you'd like to utilize. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna create a card component um, to sync this data with. It's not gonna it's not a component yet, but it's a frame. But um, the end goal is to make it a component, and this is kind of the end goal here. Um, as you can see, this card right here, this image, this subtitle, title, rating, rating, rating count, and the pricing of this is all fetching the data from Google Sheets. So I can show you, this is the Google Sheet I created, and um, you can see the title, subtitle, pricing, and all that. This, this naming convention is in sync with what I have in my layers. Um, and we're going to create that from scratch to really explain how it's uh, created. And I just copied the image address of this and pasted it in here. Um, so we're just going to create one from scratch. I'm going to go File, New, Spreadsheet. Um, and then close that. And I'm just going to reference... Uh, so I took some screenshots of the plugin right here just to kind of reference the... Uh, kind of like the wireframe and the... The Google Sheet as well for the labeling, which is why these screenshots are here. So it's, I think it's a good practice. You know, I don't have to like go back and forth between the screens. So that's why that's there. And um, yeah, let's get started. I got. Uh, I'm just gonna fill out this information, walk you along it. Um, so uh, just gonna paste these here, and I'm gonna make sure they're all bold. Uh, I'm just selecting everything, and then I'm hitting down Command B. So we got the title, we got the subtitle. And uh, feel free to follow me, follow along with me. Uh, best way to learn is to do and teach. Shout out to the Rad Brad. Um, we got the rating, uh, rating count. I'm gonna leave a space, and I believe this plugin does ignore spaces and capital letters, uh, from what I read in the documentation. Also, there is some thorough documentation on this. This will be uh, in the description. Teaches you how to do it step by step, but I figured I could show you as opposed to. Um, you know, kind of just reading through it. Um, be it's nice. And then, um, anyways, this gives you some more in-depth uh, information how to utilize this. Uh, so let's just continue here. Uh, so now we have all of our sheet. Our sheet's almost ready. Now we just got to add in content. So like title, MTV crib, subtitle, cribs um, in LA, price, add a price of one dollar wouldn't that be a dream that'd be nice a uh, rating of 1.2 because i'm sure anyways rating count 102 why not and image we're going to copy an image address let's see if uh, i'm using unsplash see if unsplash has any mtv crib layouts that would be funny um nope definitely not so i'm just going to utilize this here copy the image address um, you can use any URL really, as long as it's an image. And then I'm gonna paste that in this cell. Boom, now we got that. All right, so we could do multiple, which we'll do after we create the first one, once we get the data fetched. Now I'm gonna name this Figma test sheet. And the naming of the sheet doesn't really matter. What you're gonna wanna do is get a shareable link and uh, get shareable link. There we go, I got the shareable link. I'm gonna click done. Now we're going to go to Figma, and now that we're in Figma, let's. Uh, I got I got my card component reference. Really, you can build out whatever you want. Uh, if you want any other videos on building out other components, or um, and how to filter the data into it, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to make it. I think it'd be interesting to make uh, components around uh, object listing tables, like tables, and uh, filtering like just mass amounts of data. That'd be cool. Uh, so we got this card. Um, we can reference it uh, since it is the final product. Uh, we got this. I just copied it. Um, it's gonna make a bare bones card. Um, you guys will also have a link to this file as well. 
Um, so yeah, let's build out this card. Let's see. So I think instead of building out the card, um, you can utilize the card I have and build it from scratch, um, which is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, if you don't want to watch this part, you can just skip to the minute I specify right now in the video to click on. So we got this card, and now I'm just going to start. Um, I'm just going to start building out from scratch. So this was basically what I did was to sync this image was a was a rectangle, and I changed. I'm using the. So I have this rectangle within the frame, and I'm gonna hold down Option A and W to snap it to the left and top, so it fits perfectly within this card. And then I'm gonna go to my fill, click on that color, go to solid, select image. I believe it doesn't matter, though. You can use like a gradient, or, or just like a solid color, whatever, and as long as you have the proper naming convention in the layer, uh, you will your image will sync, because that's where image is going to sync. And then we have our crib, here, and then we have our title. We're going to name it title. Whoops, title. I'm going to name this entire crib subtitle. Um, also, again, remember you can utilize this uh, utilize this file. I will share it. It'll be a link in the description, so you can duplicate it. And duplicating the file is as simple as clicking this and duplicating. And then uh, we're going to do. This will be our rating count and then our pricing here. Uh, let's change that here. Okay, we got that. So now what we want to do is these layers are all named in correlation to the Google Sheet that we have. So if we go to the Google Sheet, I'm just going to make this a little tighter here so you can kind of view the layers panel. So you'll notice in the Google Sheet, everything that's in bold here in our cell is a name in the layers panel here in Figma. So we have we have title, and then we have subtitle, we have price, and everything is prefixed with a hashtag. And then we have our rating right here, and then our rating count. You you get the picture now, and then our image. Um, but our image we'll need to rename from rectangle to hashtag image. Just make sure it's labeled the same. Uh, so now that we have that, um, we're good to go. So we have our shareable link. Um, you have the Figma plugin installed. I'm just going to delete this card. Um, so now all of the data we input into our Google Sheet right here will reflect once we utilize the plugin. So what we're going to do is select the card, right click, go to plugins, click on Google Sheets Sync. Um, this is my old link. I'm going to remove that. Whoops, oh, that's weird. It doesn't have the ability to um, hit Command A. Anyways, uh, paste in your shareable link um, and then click Fetch and Sync. And as you can see, we have fetched and synced our data. So this is our MTV crib in LA with a rating of 1.2 and a rating count of 102 and the price per night. And uh, just a sh reference, um, our Google Sheet here. Let me just, here we go. Let me just make this a little smaller. Um, you can see our title is MTV Crib. Our Cribs in LA is our subtitle here. Our price is $1. Our rating is 1.2, and our rating count is 102. And we have our image syncing here. So that's great. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to Let's uh, let's add, let's make another component. So we have this. I'm just gonna paste that uh, second crib in LA. Why not bump that up to some that right there? That's a lot of money. Okay. Uh, rating five stars. Rating count from fifty. And then uh, we can grab another image. Let's see. Uh, I don't know, just grab any image, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to copy that image address, throw that in the Figma sheet, and we're good to go. So now I'm going to go into Figma, 
grab my card, duplicate it, and yeah, I'm now we're just gonna select these cards and resync the Google Sheet. Click fetch and sync. As you can see now, that these cards both are synced with the data from the Google Sheet. And you can basically just continue to build out more, more cribs or whatever it is that you'd like to generate um, just by duplicating this. And yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.